On Friday, business people working at Centenary Park in Kampala woke up to the deployment of soldiers from the Elite Special Forces Command. The soldiers' mandate is to carry out special operations. But the land dispute between Kampala Capital City Authority and the farm that has been managing the park, Nalong Estates Limited, hardly fits the bill of a special operation. The soldiers were not at the park this morning following a directive by the president that was reportedly issued after a meeting with officials from KCCA, National Water and Sewerage Corporation, and Uganda National Roads Authority. Why did you call a state house for help? Is it because you're losing trust in the police force? Police has been there for us. They have really tried. They've tried mediating. They've tried all sorts of things. They've been there for us all along. But according to the size of the rumor we had, we needed state house. We needed a stronger force. The proprietor of Nalongo Estate, Sarah Chizito, says she's ready to comply with the directive to allow National Water and Sewerage Corporation to construct a multi-billion shilling sewer line through the park. The utility firm acquired $24 million to construct a 31-kilometer sewer line. But its officials say they have been losing close to a billion shillings due to delays. By the time we went to Parliament, National Water was already here on site working. National Water has been here for over two weeks working but the ed had to use parliament in order to get a way to demolish and throw us out of here today engineers of the contractor marked the place where the sewer line will pass according to the engineers the earthworks are going to take place in only this area they have already uh, demarcated and they are saying they are going to be cutting down the trees and leave this structure and as to whether it will remain or not will depend on how solid the soils on the sides will be after the excavation works. Uganda National Roads Authority and Kampala Capital City Authority officials declined to speak to us about the resolutions made in the Friday meeting at State House in Entebbe. Sarah Chizito, however, says UNRWA changed its original position by asking for more land to construct a flyover. UNRWA claims they want six acres for the flyover project. There is no way you can put a flyover in six acres. Even a baby can see that it's not possible. We are aware that there's some Indians and Somalis who want to take over Centenary Park. The worst part is they are using UNRWA. Are you ready to face the ED, uh, KCCA, or face and also face the ED uh, UNRWA so that you can have an amicable resolution to this whole conflict and the standoff between you and them. You know, I believe in fairness and if anybody tries to take advantage of me, I will not allow it. This business belongs to ladies and we are fighters. We are not going to allow anybody to take advantage of us. The president ordered the demolition of any structures at the park be done without the deployment of the police or the army to pave way for the construction of the sewer line by the National Water and Storage Corporation. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV.